All right, so we're doing another U quiz here. We're doing which Windows Toho final boss are you, but it's really harsh. And I've played Toho a bit. I like the gameplay, I like the music. And so I'm kind of, I'm familiar enough with this, I should actually, like, know what I'm talking about. Like, a lot of these, when I do them, it's on games or shows, just media that I don't really participate in. But I, hopefully, I'll have a bit more to say on this one. And the quiz introduction says... Yeah, sorry for this one. Results probably say more about my headcanons for the character you got than actually you. Unless you actually do fit in what it says, in which case, get well soon. Unless you got Byakarin, then you're okay. And let's, um, jump into it. Right. Question one is, what's your favorite music genre? The first option is pop, which, um, there is some good pop. I feel like... It's kind of hard to say, talk about in general, because there's some really good pop and there's some really, like, bad pop, so... And it's one of those genres, you see the bad stuff a lot more than you see the good stuff. The second option is classic rock, which I don't mean to, like, um, criticize anyone's taste, but it seems like that mostly appeals to, like, either teenagers who think they're cooler than everyone else, or, like, people who are nostalgic from that era. And I am neither, so... Third option is breakcore. I do like breakcore. I'm very mentally ill, and so that's, you know, that's kind of the niche, but I don't actually listen to it all that often. And I listen to the less chaotic stuff. Like, if you go on YouTube and look at breakcore, there's just some, like, brain melting stuff, and that's good. I like that stuff, but it's not the kind of stuff I usually go for. Our fourth option is musical soundtracks, which for the most part is kind of like theater kid Tumblr core vibes. I'm not into that. I do like Hades Town. I heard it in a uh, philosophy tube video. Maybe it was Contra Points, but you know, one of them. But for the most part, it's kind of a red flag is having your favorite genre being musical soundtracks. I do like Les Mis as well. Fifth is video game OSTs, which is kind of like a red flag in the opposite direction once again. It's, there's actually like a lot of video game music that I really like, but having that as your like main listen, as your main genre is kind of like Reddit core, which is bad in its own unique style. Sixth option is rap, and I think this is probably the best choice so far, like given there's a lot of really like creative weird stuff in rap that's becoming more prominent too and so like yeah i like rap it's good seventh option is coco melon i looked this up it's like a kids channel i think this is like johnny johnny yes papa which is a dead meme by now so yeah yeah that's why i don't listen to it only because it's a dead meme back in the time i was listening to like tons of just like music for infants on youtube you know we all were it was it was a different time. And last option is smooth jazz. I like Dave Brubeck. I like jazz, but I'm not so big on like smooth jazz. Like, I think of Kenny G and kind of that kind of stuff when I think of smooth jazz. And overall, I'm more into like rough jazz, I guess, you know? I'm gonna go with rap, I guess. Seems like the best option. Question two is which of these gotcha games do you like the most or dislike the least? First option is Genshin Impact, which I played once. I've been meaning to play it again. I just haven't. That seems to be a common, like, thing I do. Second option is Fate Grand Order, which I've seen a lot of just, like, weird stuff from there. But I don't know enough about it to comment on it in general. Third option is uh, Fire Emblem Heroes. I've heard of it. I didn't know Fire Emblem had a gacha game. I don't know how that would fit in with its general, like, aesthetic. Like, does it still have the whole, you know, core Fire Emblem gameplay loop? I don't know anything at all about the other four options. Grand Blue Fantasy, Cookie Run Kingdom, Project Sekai, or Honkai Impact Third. I'm surprised they don't have Toho Lost Word on here, although I guess that would be a bit too easy. And given that it's the only one I know anything about in any real order, I'm gonna go with Genshin Impact. And we'll move on. Question three is where do you see yourself in 10 years? And I'm gonna skip over a bunch of these because this is kind of a common question. It's kind of like an interview question or like a weird first date question if you're maybe planning to rob your date. I don't really feel like getting robbed. So I'm gonna just like skip over a bunch of this. 
So we've got, um, same as I am now, in a stable job, in my own personal hot tub, wearing gold chains and the smoking, uh, yeah, yeah. Just graduating middle school. It's, I actually think that's a pretty funny option of its own accord. Like, a lot of these do try to be funny. I, I, I like this one. There's petting a cat, dead, in my room eating chips, or in jail. Yeah, I'm gonna go with just graduating middle school. I think that's the only legitimately funny option. Not to diss whoever made this quiz, but... Question four is which of these bunny picks speak to you the best? First option is little guy with a flower crown. I like the aesthetic overall. I don't know what it's standing on, sitting on. It's not standing, but... And also, I'm a little concerned about how its ears are, like, up. I don't know whether or not it's like that because they're, like, being pressed together by the flower crown or if it's just, like, how its ears are. I'm not a rabbit expert. The second option, all I see here, I keep seeing the rabbit on the bottom as, like, that... You know, there's that rabbit duck illusion. I keep seeing it as, like, a weird duck, and I find that very disturbing. The third option is the rabbit being held, which, once again, the rabbit's very cute. All the rabbits are really cute, at least so far, but I'm, once again, I'm kind of concerned for the well-being of the rabbit based on how it's held. Like, it doesn't look like a good pose for it. Like, I know rabbits are, like, supposed to be fragile in general. Fourth option is a bunny and an Eevee. I like the vibe of an Eevee. Rabbits do kind of have the same, like, general aesthetic as an Eevee, so that's a good pairing. I like that. Fifth option is some kind of plushy. I don't know what that is. It's some character I don't recognize, and it's in, like, a bed. Are, I don't know. Based on, like, the vague swirls, it's probably not, but my first um, instinct was, like, Naruto, you got like Naruto bed sheets based on like the swirls and the color scheme. I'm not a big fan of that. The sixth picture is two rabbits in like what looks like a straw hat upside down next to some flowers. All right, and so the last option is a rabbit on a computer. That's what I look like right now, kind of. I think our best option is the Eevee, partially for the Pokemon credits and partially just because it's a nice picture. This rabbit looks like it's probably the healthiest of any of them in this list. Oh jeez. Alright, question five is what is to you the platonic ideal of a video game? The first option is a long story driven JRPG full of complex characters with interesting story arcs. I am kind of a sucker for RPGs, especially JRPGs. I haven't played that many, like, plot-heavy JRPGs. I... this sounds, like, really right up my alley, though, like... A while ago, I just started, um, Final Fantasy XIII, I think it is, like, the one with lightning. And a lot of people were saying, like, it's one of the worst Final Fantasies, but I've really been liking it so far. So this seems good. Second option is a violent gore heavy shooter, the type of game every 12 year old boy asks for for Christmas and never gets. You know, to this day, I don't think I've ever played a shooter in any serious like amount of time. Like I've played one of the Call of Duties for like 20 minutes. I used to play Team Fortress 2 a little bit with friends, but I've never played like any of the main shooters. So I don't really have any like attachment to them. Third option is a quick and easy to pick up mobile puzzle game with uncomplicated gameplay and cutesy visuals. It's kind of, these kind of games are probably, I do play them sometimes, they're probably like the most practical for given how I regulate my time, but I don't know if they're like my favorite type of game. Like I do ideally like a more involved game, a more involved experience. The fourth option is a grinding heavy gotcha game full of wasted potential girls who all want to get in the main character's pants and pants service. That's gross. I don't like that. In general, I really... One of the main things that's been... I've been trying to, like, potentially get into anime a little bit just to, like, I don't know, experience more of life, explore all avenues of media, and the amount of fan for service, like, almost always, like, almost immediately turns me off from a lot of different shows. I don't... It just really makes me uncomfortable. I don't know. It's kind of who I am as a person, I guess. Fifth option is a calm farming game with romance mechanics and surprisingly complex gameplay when you really get into it. I'm guessing this is meant to be like Harvest Moon, uh, Stardew Valley type of game, which I never played any of them. So once again, like the shooters, I don't have any point of reference for these. Sixth option is a mascot based 3D platformer with a community full of ROM hackers 
and people engineering complex speedrun tricks. That sounds like the kind of game I would like watch a lot of like specialty YouTubers play. Like I like watching the kind of YouTubers who play like a lot of ROM hacks. So this is probably a game I would enjoy its existence from a distance, but not to play. Which ironically, that's kind of how I consume more video games nowadays. I probably watch other people play games a lot more than I actually play them myself. At least in part because I don't have like the money or the specs to play a game. And also I'm bad at video games, so yeah. The last option is a quirky indie RPG full of lovable characters and silly dialogue that also deals with serious topics at the same time. To me it sounds like Earthbound, and when I think of like games derived from Earthbound, I think of that game like Yeek. That was just terrible. I know there are games like this that do kind of work well, but I've just been kind of thrown off with that whole vibe. I guess I just gotta go with like the long story driven JRPG. I mean, now that I think about it, the next game I'm gonna play on my channel, maybe it might even be up before this, is The World Ends With You, and that's kind of what that game is, right? That would be, yeah, I love the first one, that's kind of the vibe, so yeah. Question six is, which one of these draft men do you think is the smexiest? If you don't know who these guys are, just look up their name followed by Grand Blue Fantasy. And I don't know who these are, so I'm gonna look them up. Alright, so I don't know whether or not I'll show it, but I looked up all these guys. I can appreciate a guy, like, aesthetically, but these guys are all just, like, really ugly. So I'm gonna have to go with I'm not into guys, even though, yeah. Question 7 is which of these cringe fandoms are slash were you most active in? And looking at the list, I already- there is one on here I was active in a lot. I'm gonna list off all the fandoms, but you're not gonna get to see my choice because I want to, like, have at least some attempt at preserving my dignity online. The options are Homestuck, Super Hulock, My Little Pony, Sonic the Hedgehog, Hitalia, General Bandom, Minecraft YouTubers, Genshin Impact, and Danganronpa. And you don't get to know what option I pick. And the last question, question 8, is what's the best genre of anime? Like I said, I don't watch a whole lot of anime. I've been trying to watch, um, some, but I don't really have a lot that I like yet. The option are cute idols singing and dancing, which sounds weird to be watching, honestly, I don't know. The second option is action-packed shonen, which sounds good on paper, but a lot of the ones I've seen have been kind of like fan y The ones that aren't meant for like little little kids and thus are just like super repetitive. And so I've never found anything like this that I like. Third is rom-coms. Fourth is cutesy high school slice of life. Uh, power fantasy isekai, magical girls, harem trash. I don't... none of these sound good. Um, I guess action-packed shonen. But I, just because it's something to pick, I really don't like any of these. I don't know. This isn't good as commentary, but I don't know what else to say here. Alright, and let's see who I get. I get Byakrin, who is supposed to be the best option. And the write-up is, you're cringe and you're proud. You're still into Homestuck and Super Hula. You still listen to My Chemical Romance and Melanie Martinez. You still love scene fashion, say RAR XD, and call yourself random. Your favorite foods are cookies and waffles. You have a fursona that you love making in Picruz, and you still own all your old Littlest Pet Shops. This, I'm like, around the time that this stuff was popular. It was my childhood, but not quite, I think. Like, some of this was, but I don't know when Melanie Martinez got popular. I don't remember her from my childhood. But I remember, like, I remember the Littlest Pet Shops and my Chemical Romance and all that. Um, as for her as a character, because I know who she is, um, I've never been a huge fan of her. Like, she's not bad, but the whole, like, um, Buddhists in Toho, I'm, they haven't been great. I, I don't, I'm not a huge fan of them as, like, a character group. I haven't actually played UFO yet. Like, I've played a few at the start. I've been playing a lot of, um, Unconnected Marketeers, which I love. It's a fantastic game, even if it's super hard, but I am... Um, I haven't played a lot of the games in, like, the middle, so I only know about her indirectly, so I don't know what she's like in the game, but, yeah. Let's go with the options. So we got Yuyuko is the most popular. Yuyuko is cool. 
and they got Shimada Tenkyu from Interconnected Marketeers, and I I see they put um, originally a Scarlet, I guess she's most popular because she was from the first like real Toho game, so I guess they made her like the hardest to get, which makes sense. This has been cool. I didn't have as many like good moments in this as I wanted, but I personally enjoyed this quiz a lot for like the sake of knowing what was happening in this quiz the whole time. Definitely five stars. Thank you for watching. Hopefully this, this goes up pretty soon. Hopefully I get more regular uploads. Yeah.